So you must remember Google's Chrome OS Flex. Yes, that free to use lightweight operating system that can be installed on every computer, new or old. It is perfect to revive your 10 or 15 years old laptop and computers. But since its launch in 2022, the OS has gone through multiple update cycles and has actually gotten better with each update. Now let's start with the boot test. So the OS boots up in under 10 seconds, which is pretty good. And by the way, this laptop is fairly old with a 2017 Ryzen 5 2500U processor and a SATA drive. Alright, so like Windows, you can press the start key to see the app launcher. You can also swipe up with three fingers or press F5 to enter the overview screen or the multitasking screen and press the print key to take a screenshot and even record screen with the built-in screen recorder. Okay, so this is the default home screen. It's pretty plain looking. We have our quick toggles and notifications shared on the right side. And look wise, it is very similar to the Android OS. It has the essential shortcuts for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and etc. You can even directly cast your screen to a Chromecast enabled device, which is pretty cool. You also get a dedicated focus mode with nature sound or YouTube music. And of course the power menu. And fun fact, this restart option actually arrived a lot later in the updates. Now apart from the notifications, we have a dedicated pinned file area. That means we can pin any file or documents in the files app and it's going to appear right here in this area. That is pretty convenient. So that was the basic OS overview, but going deep you will see that the OS is not as lightweight and simple as people say. And that is all thanks to the Linux integration. Yes, you can enable and use the whole Linux OS on your Chrome OS Flex. And this is its unique selling point since there is no Google Play Store support or even Android support yet. So using Linux, we get access to the whole Linux App Store. We can even sideload applications so we can download programs like Steam to install and play PC titles. You must remember since we are installing Steam on a very old PC or laptop, the performance is not going to be great and may be unplayable if you have a struggling system like mine. And most importantly, we get access to applications like open source video editing, GIMP for advanced photo editing, VS Code for decoders and so many more. And Chrome OS Flex is developed all around the Chrome browser. So we have the web app versions for a lot of applications. For example, we have the pre-installed web app for Google Gemini, Google Meet, Gmail, and etc. And while default Chrome browser supports the Chrome extensions, it lacks multiple user profiles. And if you're used to using that on a Windows or Linux system, then we have a solution for that. We can simply install the Linux version of Google Chrome to get the full browser experience as easy as that. And Chrome OS Flex is also extremely secure. It updates the OS in the background and all we need to do is a quick restart. And even after the restart, we have this new welcome recap feature to pick up our work where we left. And another great addition recently was the Microsoft 365 integration. Now you can open any MS Office file like a PowerPoint, Excel or Word document and edit it as you would on a Windows system. So that is a game changer update for all of those who are worried about doing their productive work here. For customization, we have the Android like material you are theming and it works quite well. We also have the light and dark mode support. The wallpaper collection is nice here but it hasn't been updated in a while now. We also get these cool screen shaver animations. One thing I hope Google adds is the widget supports like Android as it would make this boring home screen look a lot more alive. Another thing that would make it a whole lot better is the Android integration itself. I mean Google is already in plan to merge the Android and Chrome OS. So we may see something similar for the Flex as well, hopefully. And I mean that would instantly make this the best Android OS in the market. We have some Android OS but they are quite buggy and feels half cooked. So if you also want to install Chrome OS Flex, the process is pretty simple. 
I'll leave the complete easy to follow instructions in the description and pinned comments. So that was it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.